Tom Curry for the press uh, conference. Um, good luck to your firstly. Uh, yeah, well, we approached the game in a in a particular strategic way. We wanted to try to play a bit differently, uh, extend ourselves, uh, give the young guys an opportunity to show their ability, particularly with the ball. Um, and we were beaten pretty badly at the breakdown, um, so it's a good reminder of how much work we have to do before Australia. So from that point of view. I'm really pleased what we did. Um, I'm not pleased how we performed, but I'm, I'm pleased with the intent of what we tried to do. Um, and it's great preparation for Australia, but obviously not happy with the result. It was a, a time when perhaps you should have gone back to slightly more control game, a little bit more kicking to the base and so on, or was it all that? Well, we wanted to, you know, as I said, James, we wanted to extend ourselves today. You know, I don't know if we would have played a normal England game, how, how, what the score would have been. Um, but that's not what we wanted out of the game. Like this was preparation for Australia, not preparation to win a game against the Barbarians. Now we wanted to win the game against the Barbarians, don't get me wrong, but it was preparation for Australia. So we tried to play differently and extended the players and in, in some places we didn't cope well with it. The increased use of Marcus Smith in the second receiver, how will that affect your game plan going forward, judging by how successful he was in that role today? Well, the one thing I always, no, mate, is that when you try new things, you never judge it on its first try. So I think it's going to be very successful. But it won't come overnight. It's not something where you just go and everything happens. But we tried a few different things today and, and, and most of them were unsuccessful, as you saw by the scoreboard, but that's not to say they won't be successful in the future. Well, I just think, you know, the number of good young players coming through, the potential for the team to get better. Um, and as I said, I can't sway fans. You know, all I can do is coach the team. I've got a particular... We use today for a particular purpose. Um, and if we played really well, it would have been a great result, but not necessarily great for us in the future, because we wouldn't have found out things we need to find out about. What do you make of George Cruz? Uh, well, it's, that's a bit embarrassing, it? well, it's not really. It's a it's a festival game, mate, isn't it? Like it is supposed to be a festival game, and it's supposed to be fun for the crowd, which we had fifty five thousand here. Now we don't like to get beaten by fifty. Don't get me wrong, but they were they were there to have fun. We've seen that before with Barbarians teams, and it's about the spirit of rugby. I think it's great the spirit of rugby. Like George Cruz, the bloke who didn't carry the ball much, and he's had a great farewell today. So fantastic, love it. Can I check on a few injury bits and pieces? Start with Alex Von Brandt. It looked like he was in a... Yeah, so he'll see a specialist tomorrow and we'll find out, mate. OK, but unlikely he'll be... Uh, we'll see a specialist tomorrow and we'll find out. Um, Joe Cocker-Siegel went off as well? Uh, yeah, well, that's, that's the first uh, game he's played with a lot of running. Um, so we'll remember that. Um, Jack Hogg, what did you think of Jack Hogg today? He looked like he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rut. Yeah, uh, he had some ankle strapping, but I don't think any, anything too un, untoward at the moment. Um, and ahead of tomorrow, um, have you still got to have a conversation with guys like Joe Marler, Ben Youngs about uh, the Well, we'll do selection due diligence, mate. Yeah. So that's all part of it. With, Not necessarily just with those two players. Sure. With, with Sam Simmons out injured, would Billy Vinopola be an option for you? Uh, he would be if he was fit. Is he fit? But he's not fit. So he's, he's not well, fit. I think if you watch... Did you guys watch the game yesterday? Yeah, well, you saw what happened at the end of the game. He got knocked out. Yeah. So that means he's got a mandatory stand down. And if he's had concussions before, he's, he's got a mandatory longer stand down. So we'll, we'll need to consult the medical staff about that. Same with Shickling, I guess, because he's... Did he play his HIA? Uh, no, he didn't. Uh, well, just a couple of guys really reinforced uh, their position. You know, I was really pleased with Johnny May and Johnny Hill. 
you know, both of them played 80, both of them had played for eight or nine months. In, in what, you know, that game's quicker than a test match today. Um, so it really tested their physical resources. Uh, Tom Curry, you know, the captain here, again, hasn't played much rugby, got through 80 today, mate. You know, was still strong at the end. Uh, Jack Walker at hooker. Um, yeah, you know, I've been watching him all season and he got this opportunity today and really stepped forward. And then young guys like Joe Cockner Singer and, and Tommy Freeman, you know, that's the first big... Well, Cockner Singer, I think, has played, I don't know how many games since the last World Cup, but not a lot, you know, and showed that uh, maybe he's getting closer back to his best and that then gives us something that's a bit of an X factor. And Tommy Freeman, again, first big game he's played, uh, did really well. Tom, in preparation for Australia, you moved around the back row today, 6-8. Is that something you're going to be doing in Australia? Um, it's something, again, we'll, we'll have to see, but it's something as a back row we, we prepare for. Uh, you know, we had chats about this. Um, I thought, you know, we, we adapted well, um, especially, you know, courts coming in. Um, but, yeah, it, it's something we practice week in, week out, make sure that we know our roles um, and, and we know how we want to complement each other. Um, but it helps when you've got, you know, quality players like, you know, Unders, uh, Courtney, um, Chicky, uh, Jack, that you, you, you can utilise all their skills and, and fit around. So um, yeah, no, it's something you know. Moving forward, the back row has to has to do. Jack made a big impact when he came on. He got some real going forward, didn't he? Yeah, I thought you know him, Courtney were brilliant in terms of getting the ball forward. Um, it's kind of something we spoke about in terms of half time is um, is make sure we're more direct with more intent. And I, I thought those two, especially you know when they came on, made a real impact. So yeah, it's, it's good moving forward. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I, th I think it probably reflects kind of more where we need to be at. Um, so it's brilliant learnings for us as a team. Um, moving forward, you know, international rugby is like that, and it, it's a it's a crucial part. It is a definitely a step up. So I think, um, yeah, we, we definitely need to get our tails up and, and, and push forward. But I think that's the exciting part is we can take it to a new level and we can see um, how good we are when the breakdown is probably not working so, so well. Um, you know, if that's on fire, we can even be better. So I think it's only exciting. Was that just a little bit of an understanding thing, i.e. understanding your roles of clearing, jacking and so on and so forth and coming together perhaps? Um, it's, it's a mixture of everything, isn't it? Understanding, intent. Um, it's, 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 it, you know, you can't put your finger on it. Everything is different, isn't it? Um, but, you know, we need to look at ourselves individually and as a team. Um, but as I said before, it's, it's going to be an exciting place when, when we, we're, we're on it. And Eddie, from conceding 50 points, take the confidence of the players and team? Oh, look, no one's happy about it, mate. But again, we look at it in the, in the light of what we're trying to do. There's a contextual situation here. I'm, I know you're struggling to understand it, but there's a contextual situation. We're trying to build a new team. We're trying to play a different way. We're trying to develop a, a style of play that suits the players. And there's going to be some ups and downs in it. So will that continue in Australia? Uh, well, we're not going to go to Australia and get beaten by 50 and run the ball from our own 22. But we've... We've got a style of play that we want to keep developing now and we'll pick and choose when we use it. That we saw today? Well, not in terms of 50 points, but in terms of little bits and pieces of the attack that we want to do. Are you here for a late night tonight or is it pretty much done for tonight? Uh, we've still got one or two spots we need to look at and, and we've got a number of, as I mentioned, a number of injury concerns. They will need uh, all the best medical advice to sort out who's going to be available and who's not. Is George Ford one of those that he wants to him? Uh, I don't think it's too promising, but I don't want to jump the gun, mate. You, you said in the week about uh, DC still had chance for the ticket. Yeah. Should you be looking at the seat reservations, do you think? Uh, well, you'll find that out tomorrow, mate. Tom, is there a level of pressure you feel as a captain of the side and a leader on the side after success last year? Uh, England's last trip to Australia? Um, I think in terms of, no, is, is the honest answer, but I think that's where we step up as a group. You know, it doesn't fall on one person, and I think that's where we're blessed, you know. You, you, you see the leaders that are coming through, um, not, not just by voice, but by action, and, and becoming proper experts of their areas, and that's where we step up and all take charge. Um, rugby's a brilliant sport where, you know, there's so many different facets of the game that everyone needs to take control of because it's moving the whole time, isn't it? Um, so, so to answer your question, simply no, because I think we're, we're all going to step up. One last one for me, Eddie. Um, George retiring last game today. 
maybe what some of what he's uh, he did for England rugby and for you particularly? Oh, I just think he's <coughs> he's one of the players that epitomises what rugby's about. Uh, yeah, not naturally blessed with talent. Uh, was left out of the Saris Academy at one stage, uh, but kept on pushing. Uh, physically improved himself and became, you know, found his his X factor in terms of his game, which was his ability to run a line out, um, and then became a very successful player who played I don't know 50 odd tests, 40 odd tests, 43 tests for England, um, played in a, a Grand Slam, played in Six Nations Championship, played in the World Cup final. Um, and then went on and, and played for a couple of years in, in Japan, um, had a different cultural experience and has now made the decision to retire on his terms, uh, using the benefits of what rugby can do for a player, i.e. You know, the business network, setting up his own business. I just think it's a huge success story, mate. And I think it's a, you know, so, you know, when people said, was the game being disrespected today? I think it's a great bit of fun. Like, we've still got to have a bit of fun in the game, guys. Yeah, you know, and and of course we don't want to get beaten by 50, but I reckon they have that fun for George Cruz. He's been such a warrior, like for England, for his club Saracens, for Panasonic. It's it's a love. It's it's a difference of our sport, and I think we've still got to keep that in. Like we've got to have some enjoyment, don't we? No, but look at your face as you're saying no. So I apologise, <laughs> apologise, guys, for asking you to do something that was maybe too difficult for you. Well, it doesn't really matter, mate. Does it? Just, I'm just referring to yeah, but it doesn't doesn't matter because it, I can't do it. So, so it doesn't matter. Well, last couple. Anything else? Ask a better question. You get a better answer. Um, right. We that is last of live up here. Everything will be in the mix zone downstairs now. Thank you Thanks, very boys. much. And some of you will see Eddie tomorrow.